This is Justin Germino, and I'm going to be talking about the Rotec Portable Air Compressor. What you get here is you get a portable air compressor that has a digital display, and it also has the ability to set the PSI limit that you want to inflate your tire to in auto shut off, so you don't have to worry about monitoring it. You could set it to, say, fill up to 36 PSI and walk away from it. It also has a built-in emergency flashlight. So taking it out of the plastic wrap, I'll show you what it looks like. It comes with a protective cover on the glass, and you can see it's fairly simple, intuitive interface to it, look and design to it. It has a long cable to reach inside your car outlet port, comes with a little carry bag, and you can see inside tucked away is the actual connector that connects to your car tire. It's a little difficult to get out here. There you go. Now you can see it has one of those clip on backs where you just kind of like slide it on and clip on rather than a screw on. I have had some difficulty with those type of adapters before in the past, so we'll see if this one um, makes a good tight fit or not. Alright, let me go ahead and plug it in, then I'll turn this thing on for you. Now I'll go start the car. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and put this thing in my tire. My tire is actually pretty low right now, it's only at like 23, 24 psi I think. So, let's go ahead and see how the reader works and how it works. Press the power button on here to turn it on. You can see I'm setting it to where 36 psi is where I want it to fill to. It's a little loose over here, so I'm gonna try to tighten it up again. Again, I prefer the screw connectors. You can see it kind of is a little hard to slide on and make sure it goes in deep enough so that it makes a solid connection, doesn't allow air to escape. It was reading the PSI wrong. Now that looks better. And I powered on. See my current car tire pressure, according to this, is at 30 PSI even. And I want to charge it up to 36 PSI. Let me go take a piece of here, it's at 31.5. 32. You can see it fills pretty fast. 32.5. It's a bit about the same noise volume level as other um, air compressors. I'm going to have to boost the volume on my mic here to make sure you can hear me over the noise of the air compressor. 33.5, 34. And I'll just sit here and wait till it finishes to show that it auto shuts off. 34.5. 35, 35.5, 36, and, and there, neighbor's dog is barking at me, 36.5, 37, and it auto shut off, and it dropped down to see the 36, so it like inflates a tad over and then shuts down. I'll go ahead and unplug the thing, easy to take off, and there, the PSI is ready 36. The same button that powers it on also turns on a flashlight, you can see the flashlight there. I'm shining the beam directly at the camera. It's not an overly bright flashlight, I know I'm doing this in broad daylight, but when I measured the flashlight brightness levels, I didn't think it was that bright for emergency flashlights, so I thought the flashlight could be a little brighter. On that, this is a decent air portable compressor.